Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is uh, Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars for exams P, FM, IFM and LTAM that I teach and information about study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM and LTAM that I wrote. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help IUCU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P. A blood test indicates the presence of a particular disease 95% of the time when the disease is actually present. The same test indicates the presence of the disease 0.5% of the time when the disease is not present. 1% of the population actually has the disease. Calculate the probability that a person has the disease given that the test indicates the presence of that disease. And here's the solution. We start by labeling the events. Let D be the event that a person has a disease and P be the event that a person tests positive for the disease. So we are given that property of D, uh, property of D is 0.01, property of D complement therefore is 0.99, property of P given D is 0.95, Property of P complement given D is 1 minus that, so 0 0.05. Property of P given uh, D complement is 0 0.005. And property of P complement given D complement is 1 minus 0 0.005, so it's 0 0.995. And we want to find property of D given P. Anytime you see this kind of flip-flop of conditional probabilities, in this case going from given property of P given D, to the one that we're looking for, property of D given P, so re reversed roles of conditional versus the one that we're calculating. So P given D, and then um, we want to calculate D given P. You should use the Bayes theorem, and in this case the Bayes theorem says property of D given P is property of P given D times property of D divided by the same type of expression as in the numerator but for all possible pieces of the partition in this case the partition of the property space is D and D complement so this is property of P given D times property of D plus property of P given D complement times property of D complement every single uh, piece of this formula is given and so we just plug them in that becomes 0.95 times 0 0.01 over 0.95 times 0 0.01 uh, plus 0 0.005 times 0 0.99 and we calculate it and it's 0 0.657 which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.